Welcome to Top Table Gaming, and in this video I'm going to be unboxing the Everlasting Wet Palette by Redgrass Games. Welcome guys, you're here with your host Top Table Ben, and as I said in the intro, I'm going to be unboxing the Everlasting Wet Palette by Redgrass Games. Now, this is a product that has been out for quite a while. Uh, they did a Kickstarter maybe six or eight months ago, and the product looked fantastic, but at the time, I didn't really think that a wet palette was going to be for me. However, since then, I have been using my own homemade wet palette, um, and I feel that I'm now at the stage where I am ready to move on. Now, for, we were very fortunate to have some of these sent through to the channel quite a while ago, um, but it, I think it's about time that we gave them a good review and showed off the product. So, let's get stuck in. So, as you can see in front of me, I have uh, the wet palette and it's fully boxed. Now, this does come in two different sizes. I have here got the painter version, which is slightly smaller. They also do an XL Studio version. However, for me, this will fit, uh, fit everything that I need to be working on on it. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be needing anything much bigger. Um, so without further ado, let's have a look what's inside the box. So inside the box, you get these two components. So one of them is um, uh, the wet palette itself. The other is these little well palettes, uh, or this little well palette, which is great for inks or um, washes or anything like that that might be a little bit kind of more, you might have, might have a bit more volume of um, and might not be quite so um, concerned about them drying out whilst you're working with them. This is the bit that I am kind of most excited for though. Um, it feels really, really sturdy. Um, I think it's made out of a, a plastic, but it feels really, really solid and really, really well built. Um, I've already noticed that there are some magnets on the side. I don't know if you can see those on the camera. And there are also some magnets on the edges there of the well palette. Um, so my guess is that these bo both of these will magnetize together um, so that it just looks like one nifty piece of equipment, which is really, really nice. I really like that. Um, so there is a nice elasticated strap around the wet palette, um, which just keeps the lid on, make sure that it doesn't move, doesn't come off. Um, and the lid is quite tight fitting actually. It's a lot tighter fitting than I was expecting it to be. Um, it does have a nice rubberized seal just around the edges there. Um, so I'm guessing that's why it has got quite a nice tight seal. Now it will be interesting to see over time how that kind of stacks up and how that lasts because rubber seals do have a tendency to um, kind of deteriorate and, and obviously don't work quite as well over time. But on first opening it does feel like it's very, it forms a very very tight seal. On here uh, there's like a nice check texture bottom to it. Um, I don't know how influential that is to uh, how the palette works um, but once I give this a go over the next couple of weeks um, I'm going to report back and I'm going to let you know whether that makes a difference or not um, but ultimately so far I'm thinking that this feels really really solid um, I've just noticed there are magnets on different sides of the palette as well so this can attach both on the front the, the long end and the short end as well um, the next part of the wet palette is the hydration foam which I have um, boxed up here. I'm going to open this up. So as I said earlier I have been using a homemade um, uh, wet palette for a while now and I've been using um, like foam sponges um, and things like that in it. Um, this feels a lot more rigid than the sponge that I have been using so far. However the sponges that I have been using um, I've had to replace after a while because they do tend to get a little bit um, a bit dirty uh, and they do tend to kind of deteriorate and kind of start falling apart. So this feels like it will be a lot sturdier. Um, now this goes into the bottom of the wet palette like, like so um, and then this is what you hydrate um, to, to, to keep your, your palette wet. Um, as you can see there is a bit of a gap just around the edge now I don't know whether once this is hydrated whether it will expand to fill this area or not um, but time will tell um, once I have a play with it um, and have a, a bit of a go using it I'll be able to tell you a little bit more information the next part of the wet palette is the hydration sheets which again I have a 50 pack here 
So these sheets um, feel very much like sort of greaseproof paper or baking paper, um, and these are what you put your paint physically on um, to when you're using this as a wet palette. And this will sit across the top. Now the paper is slightly oversized compared to the uh, foam underneath. So my guess is that the foam will expand to some extent um, when it's uh, when it's hydrated. Um, as I said, the paint goes on top of here, and then this is where you can mix your paints, you can keep them hydrated, um, and basically you use the, the paints from this, um, from on top of this paper. Once you've used up the paper, once you've, um, you know, it's it's been uh, exhausted and you haven't got any more space on it, there are plenty more sheets. These come in a 50 pack, so uh, there are that should keep me going for quite a while. Now, as I said, these hydration sheets do feel uh, a little bit like baking paper, um, and uh, that's what I've been using in my homemade version for a while now. Um, so it'll be very interesting to see how this differs to what I've already been used to using. Now with my job, I do tend to do quite a lot of traveling and when I stay in hotels, I do like to take a little bit of painting with me. So one thing that I'm gonna be quite interested to see is whether this will um, hold water or what, because I really don't want to have to put this in my uh, in my luggage and it kind of ends up leaking everywhere. So I'm hoping that this will end up um, uh, being watertight so that I won't have to take my, my current wet palette with me. Um, because uh, yeah, I've, I've had a couple of issues with that one where it had, the lid has come off and it had ended up leaking. So I'll be very, very interested to see how this one stacks up. Um, the lid goes back on like so. And it's just a really nifty little kit. And that's superb. I love it. I think that's uh, it. Looks it looks the part. Um, it looks a little bit more professional than my homemade one uh, that I've been using so far, um, and I'm looking forward to getting uh, getting some use out of this one. Now, I am by no means a golden demon winning painter. Um, I am not the best painter in the world. Um, but what I did find is that when I started using my own homemade wet palette, that my painting skills did really, really improve. And the results that I was getting from my painting work uh, were far better than I had expected, um, than I had achieved previously. Uh, so I think that this product is uh, great for people wanting to potentially take that next step. Um, I was always used to using either a dinner plate or like a piece of tile um, to mix my colours on. Uh, but what you kind of don't realise is that over time, and especially if it's you know it's now summertime, it's quite warm, your paints do dry out quite quickly. And you know trying to get those two th consistent thin coats can be a bit of a challenge because by the time you get around to using your colours, they've already dried. Um, this. And these sorts of products do stop that from happening. Um, so for this time of year, they are for me an absolute godsend. Um, the other thing that is great about them as well is that when you try to mix your paints and you want to have like a, a consistent color across um, several miniatures, and you know you try to do blends and highlights, and you've got a nice colored mix uh, pre-mixed. Um, to keep that colour consistent, it can be very difficult when it's drying out on your palette before you've even had a chance to use it. This again will stop that from happening. And the other great thing is as well, once paints go on this, they will hopefully stay wet for days, weeks at a time, rather than you having to keep mixing uh, and kind of coming back and trying to remix the same colors and blends again and again and again. This will keep them nice and, uh, and damp and in a workable state for far, far longer. So who should be looking at buying this? Um, as I said uh, earlier, I personally think that anybody that is looking to take that next step uh, in the painting, so maybe somebody that has had maybe six months or a year's worth of experience and wants to take their painting to the next step. Now, some people will get to that stage a lot, lot quicker. Um, I'm in, in my eyes, I'm a little bit disappointed that I didn't um, jump on a wet palette a little bit sooner um, because I feel like, as I said, since I've been using a wet palette, my painting has got has taken that step up and has got that much better. Um, so I'm I'm a bit disappointed in myself that I didn't invest in one sooner or try and make my own sooner. But this one um, will hopefully fit the bill for me. Now this is I believe 35 uh, euros, um, which is probably about 35 pounds these days. Um, so it's not a cheap item, um, 
but hopefully if it does everything I expect it to, that will be money well worth spending. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go away and I'm gonna use this um, for the next couple of weeks and see how I feel about it compared to my old wet palette. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put up a proper review video. This is only an unboxing. I'm gonna do a proper review video of this. Um, and if it does everything that I expect it to, I think it's gonna be a really good review for this product. Make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss out on that second part of my review. If you've already got one of these wet palettes, let me know in the comments below what you think about it. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure that you check out all the links in the description below. We have a Patreon, we have uh, we have presence on Twitter, Facebook um, and Instagram, so make sure that you check in those out. And make sure that you're also using our um, Element Games affiliate link if you're looking to buy any gaming stuff. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video.